Hi there, I'm Carrie Gibson, president of EcoCentury Technologies. I am the vice president of strategic partnerships for Zippy Care and co-founder for nutrition through engagement and agricultural technologies at Simon Fraser University. And happy International Day of the Girl, or is it? We have gone so far in so many ways in raising awareness of vulnerability of women and girls across the world. However, we still see 257 years to come before women and girls can expect equal pay or in many regions not receive education past menstruation. Or during this pandemic, the increase in trafficking, which is incredibly concerning. So can you imagine how, how vulnerable girls with disabilities are in comparison? And this is something that's not discussed. It's not often brought to the table about how girls with disabilities are able to live and work and engage and thrive in the world. So let's talk about that because girls with disabilities in many parts of the world, even in developed countries, are abused, are suppressed, are incredibly vulnerable and dismissed. They are often uh, points of shame to families and hidden away. And quite often families feel that it is wasted uh, to offer them uh, an education, which they think that perhaps they might not use. There, and, and, some and sometimes it's been seen that children with, with disabilities are starved to death. Because why waste food when you don't have enough to, to feed the entire family to begin with? But let's now talk about what they're overlooking how we can support women and girls with disabilities so that they can thrive, so that they can become self-sufficient, so that they can achieve anything that they want and not be a burden on society, but a benefit. And in many ways, we have examples. Now, they aren't as seen as, as other people, um, who have done exceptional things, who are uh, put in the forefront. And we sometimes forget about these incredible people who have done amazing things. I mean, Stephen Hawking, give him some technology. And he has been a leader in science. Rick Hansen wheeled around the world. He was going to drop out of high school and after his accident became a paraplegic. And instead he raised millions upon millions of dollars for research towards uh, recovery for spinal cord uh, injury recipients. And they are only a couple of the beacons that uh, we have in society uh, where disabled people are often overlooked. And it's very unfortunate that those of disability are not mainstreamed in the community. They're often put in different classrooms. Um, often they aren't welcomed um, into spaces because of inaccessibility, uh, whether that be through language for the hard of hearing or through um, the actual infrastructure itself. If there are no ramps or wide enough doors or uh, washroom facilities, um, then persons with disabilities cannot use these spaces. Now, when designing these spaces, it's easy enough to build it in, build it in in the first place and build it right and build it for everyone. Um, however, it is, is a last resort, uh, which should not be the case because it's been seen that when girls of disability, persons of disability, are given education and access and are welcome to the table, they can thrive, they can do anything that anybody else can do, just in a different way. The economy will benefit, the uh, cost of medical needs will diminish, um, the people that are in these positions will be engaged in community and develop their own support systems so that they can 
be part of the community and give back to that community without it being a compromise or a debt or um, a burden. And I think we need to start looking at terminology, how we use words, which are so important, to put people in certain boxes. And we need to unlock those boxes, break them open, and let young women and people of disability across the world uh, show what they can do when they're given the tools to be all that they were meant to be, they were born to be. And I'm in a wheelchair. I had the benefit of seeing both sides of the picture. I was able-bodied until I was 22 years old and I was in a car crash and I became a paraplegic. But because I had the support, because I had the tools that I needed um, to get back to work, get back into the world, I have a fulfilling life. Now, what I want and what I want to see sooner than later is for all young girls in my position and those who might be blind or deaf or whatever um, uh, different differing abilities they might have to be able to benefit from the same things that I benefit from. And I am not a cost to the government. I am self-sufficient. I am independent. And everyone should be able to enjoy that. That is all we were born to do. People don't want to live at home and um, not be able to do for themselves and to be um, unproductive. People have different gifts to give to the world. Now, we take a look at uh, how people communicate, for instance. You know, those are differing abilities. How many languages do you know? Disabilities are the, is pretty much the same situation. Do we have that knowledge and those tools to take a person uh, from a position of inability to the position of ability? And those technologies are available. They are easily accessible and reasonably inexpensive. Um, companies can benefit from the brain trust that um, is not currently employed by those who uh, have the, the knowledge and ability and intellect to be contributing and giving to their company. Not only that, they then have that diversity within their company that will give back in, in monetary means uh, to the bottom line of corporations. They also reflect the communities that they work in. So they are be better able to respond and understand their customer. There are many ways that this diversity should be embraced and enhanced and uh, so that not only it benefits the economy, the community, but the individual itself. Now, I wish to see next year progress made. I wish to see every year leaps and bounds in the inclusivity of women and girls of disability so that on each International Day of the Girl, we have milestones that we can check off that we have accomplished that. And I want to see more women of disability, girls of disability highlighted in media, in the news, in classrooms. Um, and it not be as such a stigma to be disabled as it currently is. I want to see the community not be so fearful of what they don't understand. And I want to see people embrace the unknown. Don't be scared to make changes. We have made so many changes during the pandemic. The buzzword these days is pivot. Well, let's keep pivoting and let's make sure that includes 
women and girls with disability. Happy International Day of the Girl.